Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is a lovely September afternoon. No, it's not September yet, but let's get into this topic because this is a very important topic that I've been promising that we were going to talk about and I did not get into it. So you're looking like thumbnail, you already know it is about being left behind. I want to get into first a few issues with this topic and why some people are feeling left behind or why this is becoming such a trend. Um, and I know people are going to throw things out like inflation and loneliness and certain things that have happened in the past two years that have affected people's ability to move and mature into a particular direction. But I want to offer up a different person, um, a different part of the equation, a different perspective, if you may. The people are being putting off maturation because it is a societal issue that I think is a real um, plague, actually, of society. Maturation is not something that is something that is weak. That, maturation is not something that is embraced. And we see that in social media, in the media and television in a, and in a lot of shows. I think I'm going to do a particular topic, a very special topic on how pop culture influences culture. Not today, but we should definitely have a discussion about that. Once you become aware of some of the reasons, um, some of the reasons that maturation is important, you begin to realize that there is a need for change. I am not the same person that I was when I was 25. I'm not the same person that I was when I was 30. Yes, I am older than 30. Shocking. Happy birthday to me. But one of the things that I had to do when I turned 21, in fact, I was forced to do because I had a child, was to grow up and to start to take into consideration some of the things that we call adulting. A lot of us start in start off in life with big dreams and big goals, and somewhere along the lines, we end up in a situation we we don't accomplish the things that we set out to. And I've been doing a lot of research on this topic because a lot of people on social media on YouTube are saying that it's okay if you have not accomplished the things you set out to accomplish. What I would also like to offer up in this topic is to look at to what are some what are some of the reasons or some of the things that have blocked you from accomplishing the things that you want. Because not being able to accomplish the things that you want outside of things that are beyond outside of the circumstantial issues that are probably out of your control a lot of what it is that has taken place in your life is probably self-imposed issues. And one of the major ones is maturation. The, what we call in street language these days, adulting, right? And adulting basically means that the person, like I said, who is 20 thinks a particular way. And once you start to push up on 30, you can no longer think that way. We tend to want to, because of society issues or things that we accept about societal living, to put off maturing because it's just not fun. And that is the uh, epitome of maturing is that things have to be given up, changed, and sacrificed in our uh, young adult years in order for us to get to that personal development level. And that personal development level speaks to the issue that people will not be as happy about you being the same person that you were at 22 when you're now 32 or then 40. You cannot be the same person and do things the same way you did that the way you did when you were 10 years or younger. And when people realize that a lot of the times, and I'm going to speak about men and women differently in this context. Maybe I will separate this video by gender. But a lot of the times people are just not thrilled about you the way they were. And hopefully you recognize this soon enough so that you can do something about it. But a lot of times when we are hit with the age difference that we are no longer special, awesome, fun, or funny, it's time for us to start to look at some of the things that have blocked us from reaching that level of maturity necessary for us to accomplish the goals. Like I said, it comes with personal sacrifices, things you're just going to have to give up. You're going to have to give up the parties, the free time, and look at what other blockages there are in your life that are causing you to not be able to move forward. What is a blockage? A blockage is an obstruction that prevents the flow of movement. And in our lives, we have to ask ourselves specific questions as it, as it pertains to blockage. Take some time out and ask yourself, what is standing in my way? What am I bound to? Am I bound to country, family, loved ones, a job, friends, certain behavioral habits, 
that I probably need to give up or start doing. And on that note of behavioral habits, we want to talk also about discipline. Of course, you're going to have to give up a very lackadaisical way of being and become very structured and intentional about your life if you want to accomplish goals and start to not feel left behind. And that means that you're going to have to put in either a punishment, I'm going to talk about that later, or a reward system. Every single time you accomplish a particular element of your success, it is part of the process to reward yourself with a, su with a small something, doesn't have to be big, that says, hey, I'm moving in the particular direction that I want to. As you see today, I have put my paintings by side and I have set up in one of my whiteboards with all of the goals. This is only for work, so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday down to Sunday. All the things I have to do for the several projects that I'm going to be working on. And I would suggest that you, if you are looking for a tangible. <sighs> my baby just came home from my po thing. He's still tired. Um, so curating your life is where I'm going with this particular thing. I have about three different kinds of whiteboards. So where I have personal elements of my life that I'm working on, work elements, and one for the entire family. Because... Honestly, if you want to curate your life and not feel left behind anymore, you're going to have to become organized. For me, I work very well with specifics. I work, um, I like to set a goal or a few goals and put something realistic in terms of date lines into place so that I have a framework as to how long it's going to take me to get that thing done. And one of my least favorite things to do is to work backwards. So if I say it's going to take me a month to raise this amount of money, I work from that end date backwards and see what needs to be taking place bef um, before or every day or every week that is going to allow me to raise said amount of money. It doesn't have to be money. It could be anything else like losing weight or getting closer to your friends or something along those lines. So specifics, specific goals and timelines work best for me. You can also go very general and say you want to feel a particular way. You want to feel motivated and inspired. You allow yourself to explore things that are out of your comfort zone or things that you have a natural curiosity about and see what it is you can do right now to fulfill that, that, that to generate that feeling of happiness and joy that would be given to you if you had accomplished that thing. So let go of the doubt and the judgment of this process because naturally you'll start to put in excuses in your head as to why you can't do it, why you can't afford it, can't have time for it. But what is the alternative? Always, always ask yourself that life is about alternates. There are things that you have to do and there are things that you want to do. And ultimately, freedom is about maximizing the amount of things that you want to do and minimizing the strain of having to sacrifice your time to do the things that you have to do so that you have more time to do the things you want to do. You follow me? Rewind, slow it down, listen again. So the problem with pushing back on conflict and challenges as it pertains, this is one of the biggest parts it um of goal setting and cur life curation is that a lot of the times we don't actually know what it is we want and so if you don't know what you want i would say going with your feeling trying things out is the better way to go as opposed to okay i want to have a car by next year um maybe that's not something that is of interest to you but you want to feel some way you want to feel a kind of way think about the things that have worked in the past and start there to see if it still generates that level of curiosity, excitement, and inspiration, or if there's something similar in that on those lines, it's time to test things out and see how far you can go with that. If you are afraid to fail or afraid to succeed, that is something that needs unpacking. And um, this is something that is quite normal. It's not strange, like, why am I afraid to be happy? Because we get into a set way of being that says that this is where I'm comfortable. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm happy at this place, but I'm comfortable and it's familiar. And breaking out of that causes a reaction in our bodies physically to make us feel uncomfortable. We're looking for the drama. We're looking for the next 
um, conflict. And when there isn't, then we feel strange and kind of like something is missing. And so you want to have to make sure you want to make sure that you start to build up your muscle and I identify places and ways that you can start to think about why it is that I'm attached to this way of being if it's not helping me. And the way to do that is to first get yourself extremely or organized, right? A lot of the times fear and anxiety come from having absolutely too much free time on our hands to think too much about things that aren't in really in existence. That's just me. There are other reasons for fear and of failure and fear of success. But like I would start there. Get organized and make sure that you're filling your time with as much activity as possible that is moving towards the direction in which you say you want to go. Get a mentor or a coach. You can contact me if you feel that I would be the right fit for you, but just get somebody around you that is doing the things that that is holding you accountable. I'm so sorry. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is holding you accountable, that can mentor you, and that you're not afraid to hear the truth from because this person is going to be basically the one who is going to say things to you that you might not always want to hear, but absolutely need to hear if you're going to be moving forward in life. Get some emotional sunshine. Again, this goes back to feeling the things that you need to feel that makes you feel inspired, motivated. Um, inspired, motivated, happy, positive about life and the outlooks of life. A lot of the times we feel like our experiences are what everybody is experiencing. But the truth of the matter is, is that a lot of what we experience is only 0.001% of the actual reality of the whole picture, I would say, globally. There are many experiences, many different ways that people can live if we're open to understanding how to get it accomplished. The, re the big real problem is going back to blockages and what are some of the things we tell ourselves we can't do just because it is outside of the norm of the people that are around us. So environment is extremely important for us to be able to accomplish the things we say we want. I keep on saying we say we want because people say one thing and they end up doing something else. <laughs> so if you say you want something, you need to start to find the information that is going to help you get that thing. An environment is a great way to do that. Put yourself in the environment of people who are doing the things that you want and mimic and copy them and study them. Study what it is that they do differently. Books have become my number one friend. I generally don't like to read, but I have become an avid reader in the past six months because it has helped me so much in getting clarity about the things that I need to be doing in my life. And it has helped by osmosis give me mentorship through books from people who have done the things that I want to do so that I can progress in the direction that I say I want to go. And make sure that your friends are in alignment with your journey. You don't have to tell these people everything that's going on with you personally, but they definitely have to be a strong resource and motivator that can support you along the way that you want to go. And if the people that are not around you are, are doing that, then you need to start to look for new friends. Join a club or a group of people who are along the lines, uh, who are in alignment with your thing, and make sure that it is something that you are also interested in. And be cognizant of that feeling that you get when you're around these people. Do you feel like you're being motivated, lift up, inspired, challenged in a way that you have never been before? So I want to thank you guys for stopping by tonight. Um, yeah, it is actually night this time. We're coming up on the end of summer, so please like and subscribe to my channel. Share this information and content with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you can, please stay safe and stay free.